Good morning, everybody. Um, today I have some more planners in the shop. These are actually micro traveler's notebooks, and I'm about to show you how they look inside. They are in the shop right now. It's super early. Um, this morning I got up at, uh, it was like 3.30 because my husband's alarm went off. He had to go in to work early. I tried to go back to sleep. I couldn't. So <laughs> 4 o'clock I was up, um, got my coffee, ready to go. I finished these up. All I really had to do was add a few more stickers. Um, but I was actually mostly done last night. And yeah, so let's just get started they are all exactly the same i'm gonna just do a quick um you know like what i got where i got some of the stuff from this material here it looks similar to one that i've used before but it's different um the one that i used before is also a faux croc it was a like a whitewashed silver from walmart and it's thicker than this material this material here is almost like hollow and it has pinkish and maybe purple kind of hues that show up once in a while you might not see it on screen but it's super thin it's like a um it's almost like paper like a thick um specialty paper but it does it is sold on a, a large spool it's sold by the yard at hobby lobby um, it was something new that I had never seen there. So it was on a shelf, just laying there on a shelf with some other spooled um, by the yard materials. So I just happened to find it. I don't know if you could see like the lavender and the pink kind of. Anyway, <clears throat> so it's super thin. It was a little more difficult to adhere to the other material that I used, which is also from Hobby Lobby. But I did make it work. Um, just a couple of things, or one thing actually. Do not, if you're going to use an adhesive spray like I do, don't spray this part, this piece. Spray the other part so that you're going to stick to this. Because it does, um, if you don't do it right, it leaves, it kind of bleeds through and then stains or changes the color of this. Because it is super thin. So I, you know, learned it the hard way because I had done one and then I saw that it had changed the color. So I had to throw that piece away. But, you know, just a little something in case you do use that. Um, but my covers were super thin. You can see right here. And it was very easy to sew. Um, this here is also from Hobby Lobby. Also sold as a ribbon. It's on a spool. It's not perfect size all the way through it you see it's like thinner here so when they cut this it's not like an even width all the way through just so you know that too but um, I decided to make bows out of this material and I really wanted a colorful planner here it's it's both unicorn and mermaid theme so it's very colorful all right, so this one here, I took out the stickers that I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to put it to the side. Um, and when I get to it, you know, I'll show you those. And like I said, right now it's just barely 5 o'clock. It's 4.56. So I'm still waking, but hubby's gone so I can talk normal. Um, yeah, all right, so let's put the rest aside too. They are all exactly the same there'll be a link down below here I added one of the unicorn charms that I found I think it was Joanne's a while back I don't I think I don't remember now I think it was Joanne's and it's on a lobster clasp so it can be moved around I did go with a, a hot pink elastic again I wanted to make this really colorful and fun if you want to gift it to you know a young person either a child or whatever it would be really fun or keep it for yourself now, with the bow dangle, I decided because with the lobster class, it hung too low. And I didn't like the way it looks. So, it doesn't have a lobster clasp. It's on there. Um, you can't take it off by hand. But if you wanted to add a lobster class, you can. You know how to remove the jump rings. All you do is take a couple of pliers and split it to take it out. And then you can put a jump ring I mean a lobster class but when you do that it's just going to come down further and to me it didn't look right so but it still hangs low enough where you can open your planner see either this way or this way 
and you can still open the planner. I'm not going to take out the things in here because I do have them out on the side. So I'm just going to flip through this and then show you the goodies. I will take this to the side because that always flies out. I'm going to sneeze in a second. Uh, I woke up with a very stuffy nose and I used a nasal spray. And now I got to sneeze. So um, you are getting a couple of pockets and some stickers. Um, I was trying to do both mermaid and unicorn themes. Um, there is one shaped clip here, a like mermaid tail. And actually, since I didn't want to take out anything, let me go back to this one that's already gutted. <laughs> this is the inside, another um, Hobby Lobby material that is on a spool as well. And with these patterns on the spools, you can only, if you want the scales to look right, like either facing down or even up, the width of your um, spool, it's not that long. So you can only make certain size planners with it, unless you don't mind the scales going sideways, which I do. <laughs> so for the little micros, it's perfect. So I can at least have them facing. It has a bit of a texture so you can feel, you know, where the scales are. <laughs> So, yeah, and I did use the same materials for the pockets. All right. <clears throat> I did make shakers, and these shakers in the um, removable sleeves, I actually used scrap, so I had to seal the bottoms, too. Normally, um, when I use the clear pockets, I try to use them where they're already sealed, and I don't have to do too much sealing myself. So down here, it's sealed by me. So there's a possibility, because I did you know, try to go through all of them, make sure nothing had reopened. One of them had popped open in the middle, so I resealed it. But there is a possibility that, that you know, it could get undone. Um, I would suggest if it happens, put a little bit of, either smear a little bit of E6000 or some glossy accents, or if you have a fuse tool, reseal it. Or you can decorate it and add some washi tape around the edges, you know, just fold it over because it could happen. So in my shaker, there is a mixture of unicorns and mermaids, both from Hobby Lobby and Joann's. They got new um, confetti and pretty much all my shaker stuff is... Um, I think this one here might be opening up, so I'm going to have to reseal that. Let me turn on my fuse tool. Because I touch them a lot when I'm making these and I'm always going back and forth and filling it, you know, there's always that chance that it could reopen. So maybe I'll just smear some on this one too. And when I start fusing, usually the first ones, because maybe my, my heat tool or this thing, a fuse tool, might not have been hot enough. Um, you know, I have to go back and check. So this one I'm going to reseal. Anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. So my shaker pockets are also, you know, there's another side with a clear pocket back here. I won't take these out. Um, I have them out already. And then I put a card, you know, just paper from my collection this is a mixture of different papers so i'm not even going to go through it but both of them are from hobby lobby and michael's <clears throat> i do add into all my planners now my own personal undated monthly and weekly um inserts i have digital files in the shop that you can buy and use you know to refill these in this one, I actually put the third option, which is the lined paper. So um, I did print those out for you. Usually I do a blank insert back here, so I'm not printing too much. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But they are in the shop. I have all the sizes of planners that I carry, like a little kit with just the three different files in a couple of formats. All right, so we got that, and again, I never staple the the actual printed covers or the design covers to these inserts, so you can change them out. And all these covers have interchangeable pockets, sleeves, so you can change that out. And they also act as pockets. 
okay i did make a little fuzzy dangle here again i wanted it to be colorful i added blue fuzzy dangle or ball whatever that's called and that's the other side i'll go through those stickers in a minute um i did make this paper clip and it's a chipboard sticker from target either from last year or the year before and i made it so that it could go down far since it you know you might want to take this around with you it will go down and won't stick out too much so then there's the next insert which is the undated weekly and then you have a folder I'll show you those stickers in a second. <clears throat> then here is a unicorn. It's a foam shape. Um, not quite sure if it was Joann's or Hobby Lobby. But and when I do these, these are all stickers. I just stick them onto white cardstock and then cut around that and then turn them into um, a paper clip. Here's the sticky notes. They're all going to be the same. Again, the lined inserts, and then here's your back pocket. All right, so, oh, and then here's your page marker. Looks like this, and I used my oval um, scallop punch again, which I love for making tabs. I did do two this time back in front. I'll show you that. Actually, I'll show you this now because I, um, I didn't pull those out in the other one. There will be one tag. I didn't have mermaid tags. I thought I did, but oh well. And then here is your washi sample card. Now I put it I put it in here on the silver side, but it also has a gold side. I did mix the metals, silver and gold. But this one washi, the foil was already starting to on its own come off as I was unrolling it, unfortunately. The foil on the purple. <sighs> okay, so <clears throat> and then here. And I don't know why I didn't use, I do have a unicorn um, elastic. Well, I think I was just trying not to do too much unicorn. And then here is a pen. Now the pens are going to differ. There's two of this color and two of the darker blue. I didn't have four. It's a, you know, you push the top. It's actually a Paper Mate Ink Joy Mini. And you just got to take off the little plastic cover that's on the tip there. <laughs> And this is a perfect size um, pen, not too small like the other ones that we usually use in the micros. It's just a perfect size. You can see it's almost exact. So let me just show you the stickers that will come in, um, come with these. And of course, I always throw in freebies when I can. I try to coordinate it to the planner. You know, sometimes I can't, so I just put in other things. So I always throw in at least one freebie with your planner. And here are the extras that come in there, just some stickers. You will get a credit card pocket. I didn't stick it in. Um, it's a side loading or loads on the long side. They do fit on these pages, so you could stick it wherever you'd like, or if you want to put it on the back of your page marker, I think. Yeah, it'll fit exactly. So I'm going to let you decide where you want to put this. You're getting two of these little um, pockets here, a unicorn. They're both foiled, and then the mermaid um, patterns from Hobby Lobby. You're getting these stickers here. It's just assorted fun stickers that matches the um, the washi, actually. And then these here. You know, I have a ton of mermaid and unicorn themed stuff, but I don't have duplicates, so I couldn't. <clears throat> I want everything to be exactly the same as much as possible. Then you get in these, which are from Hobby Lobby. I put it against the white. You can see a little better. So they're kind of transparent, but they also have some glitter on them. One dimensional mermaid. And then these are washi um, stickers from Joann's. So that's what you're getting. And I have them tucked into that one. Oh, I put this in the wrong way that one pocket that goes with the goes with the shaker let's get, get this back in uh, so these go 
I mean, you can put these wherever you want. Oh, and I forgot. The metal tail, there's two different ones. Let me see if this one has the other one. Because I didn't have four. Yeah, okay, so see there's this one and then this one. These are stickers also from, I think, Hobby Lobby maybe. Probably. The majority of my stuff is Hobby Lobby. Like I said, Hobby Lobby, if you don't have any other stores... Hobby Lobby is perfect. If you have that one, that's all you need. <laughs> and they always have, you know, sales every week. And they repeat their sales like every other week. So I have those in there. These I had in the folder. And this one I had in the back. And these two were up front. There's that mermaid clip. You could put this on top, of course, but I just kind of wanted to stick something here. And your page marker. Everything, of course, you can move. Put it wherever you like. Which one was the one? Was it this one? No, I think it was this one that I got to reseal. Yeah. So, um, it's a good thing to have this, you know, not just for my planners, but this is a really good tool to have just make sure that you let it heat up for a really long time test it out on plastics because all plastics are going to be different thicknesses um put apply good pressure or oh, put some kind of i don't like using a hard surface i usually use something a bit like this is a hard chipboard but it you see all the lines it does still push down so some kind of a semi soft surface to help it actually go down into the plastic that helps and of course use your tool which I got to pull out now for this um, usually this comes with this because it's just the right thickness you know um, and it has these little rubber things to help it not slide around so it's something good to have just for yourself <clears throat> Okay, so anyway, these are listed down below. There are four available. Things do go fast in my shop. Sometimes even I can't believe how quickly they go, like seconds. Um, I do have a Facebook group where I share this first. And FYI, um, if you are planning on joining my group, I will be closing the doors to any new members once I reach 400, only because... The bigger a, a group is, the harder it is to manage and, you know, a lot of people go in there. And I, sometimes I just don't know why they're there because they're just there um, just to join another group. But once I reach a certain number, which I think is going to be 400, which is coming soon, I'm going to go back and remove all my Facebook group links. Um, so if you want to join, now is the time. I'm at 480 something, so it's not that much more from now and i will only like later on if people start leaving the group for whatever reason or if i get rid of people then i'll let you know right now i have an opening or two you know but if you do plan on joining the group right now make sure number one that you answer the three questions that you will get when you try to join three not one not two all three and the last question is a why so it's not a yes or no question. So you have to let me know why you want to enter or join my group. I have this group mainly, mainly to give heads up to potential buyers of my planners and other stuff that I sell. I not only sell planners, I sell digital stuff. And every now and then I de-stash and that's where I do my de-stashing. I'll do a video here showing you what I'm selling, but... It always goes through there, and I only ship international, just so you know. If you're out of state, I don't ship international. So if you don't want to waste your time, you know, because of that, that's fine. Um, and once you do get approved to go into my group, then... You'll need to go and check out the files, especially the group rules. And then there's other, you know, files for your information. 
you know, to make life easier on all of us so that I don't keep getting repeat questions because if you know me by now, one of my pet peeves is repeating myself. <laughs> Even though I am constantly doing it here because I know I do get new people every day. Okay, <clears throat> so I think that is it for now. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next new planner. Bye now.